There will be no nominations. You are all up for eviction. It is time to find out who Australia wants to keep watching and who they do not. Yeah, let's be honest, who in their right mind takes people away from their loved ones? Good on him, but now he's got a couple of enemies. All of them look broken. Really? Yeah, oh. there is all heartache in their eyes and they're all oh. going an element of stir crazy. I feel really bad, like we're feeling a bad person. Say it. Do it. I can be attracted to more than one person. Like, it's not that I'm cheating on anyone. You watch. You vote. You decide. One will go. I mean, I like you. Brothers Eviction Night Live. Every single original housemate is up for eviction tonight. There's no telling who will go. The housemates have never faced off against each other all at once. So tonight will be the ultimate test of their survival. So who does Australia really love? I mean, who do you want to watch? And who will go home when you can choose anyone you want. Lines are open until 9pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Go to 9 Jump In for details of how to vote. But before we get into the eviction, let's go to the house where the new neighbours have been bending over backwards to fit in, and it seems to be working. The new housemates have settled in like family. doing their best to stay fit in the small backyard. And then it's like your balance, like if you just... Oh. Yeah, and if you're going to a bridge, just go with it. <laughs> I just wonder what they're up to next door, eh? But next door, there's even less space. Look, at the end of the day, I don't care that we're in here. It just shows the top of the person right in it to split up lot. Simple as that. They've been in the sanctuary, separated from the others, for three days. I miss Sky. Sky! Who, who? Let's be honest, who in their right mind takes people away from their loved ones? I'm telling you, Travi. Ryan went in that room. Big Brother said, you've got to pick four people that go into that room. And Ryan just went, Travis? And then he just built the group around you. The guy literally just wants to bond closer with our girls because he's incompetent to do it himself while we're there, because he's less alpha male. I'm not regretting that decision. I'm having fun with everyone who's in here at the moment. I think I might get a few repercussions, maybe from Leo. He's usually a bit of a whinger. Um, Trav will be all right, I think. Who else? I think Priya and Kat will be fine too, so probably just Leo there. He should have just said, it's the four people I dislike the most, and then that would have sat well with me better. But at the end of the day, He's made the right move for him. He's in the power. It's a good move for him. Good on him. But now he's got a couple of enemies. What? Is Aisha there? No, she's, she's in sorry. She's in bed with Ryan. What? She's in bed with Ryan. Tell her I said hello. She doesn't want to talk to you anymore. She's moved on. Go give Aisha a kiss for me. Ryan's already kissing her. Well, that's all right then. Housemates, there has been a shift in power. Yeah. Ryan's controversial role as head of house is about to end. Ryan, you may now reveal who Australia has chosen as the new head of house. No worries. So we decided to let him off the, uh, the leash. Davo. Yeah. <laughs> David, to the power room. Cheers. Well David. Yeah. David's first power play is all about the neighbours next door and whether they finally get to visit. Dun, dun, dun. 
housemates. Yes, Hello, big brother. Are. Next door, there is a new head of house. Yes. Yeah, we yes. thought so. And the new head of house is David. Ooh, Ooh. I thought Dave Rage. Yay, I'm looking forward to my next week now. Tonight, there will be a party in the Big Brother house. Yeah. Yep, but we are not in the Big Brother house. Oh. <laughs> Shortly, each of you will be making a plea to the new head of house, David, to convince him why you should join the party tonight. Oh, my God. David can only choose one of you. <laughs> Awkward silence. David, as new head of house, Big Brother has decided on your first power play. Okay. You will get to choose one housemate from next door to join you in tonight's festivities. Okay. Shortly, the housemates next door will make a plea. This is an attempt to convince you to choose them above the others to come to the party tonight. Okay. Kat, I think he will call you. I wouldn't think so. I would think so, knowing Dave. I well, what, no, what, wouldn't Dave do something more strategic, strategic than that? What's a strategic uh, move? Who gets along the most with you out of all four of us? There you go. Who? Kat. Does he? Oh, you're along pretty well with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Do you have a good relationship with him? I get along with him, yeah. Why are you laughing at that? As he said something behind my back. No. Well, I didn't even know Dave and Kate were close. <laughs> Are you close to Dave? Like, <laughs> I love the smile on his face. I don't know. Do you think you, you think you and Dave were close? I thought I was close to Dave. Do you really think here. you and Dave were close? Yeah. Well, well, let's think about what the type of guy Dave is. He's probably going to pick game-wise. You know, that's why, that's why he does everything. I just think it's so cruel. <laughs> so evil. Your friends with David Travis will find out. Lines will soon be paused, Australia, so these are your last moments to vote. Go to nine, jump in to have your say. Coming up, Big Brother goes all in with the eviction and we find out who David sets free from the sanctuary. <laughs> Eviction tonight, we will find out who loses in the Big Brother popularity contest and that person will be evicted. It could be David, whose first taste of power was watching the four sanctuary-bound housemates begging him to release them. Leo, you have 60 seconds to make your plea. Hey Dave, dude, I really want you to let me come over and party tonight. I'll give you three main reasons. Number one, I think game-wise, I'm most likely to be the one that's not going to last long. So it'd be sweet if you let me come over. Number two, I won't be drinking tonight, so that's drinks that could be going your way. And number three, if I'm over tonight, I'll bring my black Le Heavy hat and you can have it. It's yours. It's done. You don't have to wait for it. That hat is yours. Uh, hi Dave, um, it would mean more to me than anything to come over, but I feel like anything I say right now is probably not going to change who you're going to pick, but um, at least we got a chance to say hi. Hi Dave, <laughs> you know how much we get along, right? Plus I think it would be the most unbiased thing to do, because choosing anyone else here would mean that you're reuniting one couple and hence preferring that person over the other two couples, but pick whoever you like, <laughs> based on whatever. Hi, Big Dave. What would a hearty be without Mr. T? Um, I think we all want to come over tonight. We're going a little crazy in here. I'm pretty angry that I'm in here, so if I'm not angry, but if I was to come over, I'd speak my mind and everything that's on it. I'd be pretty, pretty entertaining tonight. It's about having a good time, and I will come give you that, Dave. Uh, it's not easy, but I have made my decision. For tonight's festivities, I choose to bring Kat across to join us. I need the relationship between Kat and Lawson to flourish and to continue to. I need it to be in the public's mind. I know that's cruel, but it's we're all up and it's survival here. So if some people aren't agreeing with what's, what's going on, then I'll allow them to make that decision when it comes time to vote. Joining the Big Brother house 
for the party tonight is Cat. Oh, oh God. Hi, baby. Oh, God. Thank you so much, David. Oh, my God. All of them look broken. Really? Yeah, they are all there is all, you know, heartache in their eyes and they're all going an element of stir crazy. Yeah. Yeah. God, I feel bad now. Look, they even I've put them in that situation. Obviously, someone had to be there. So. Mm. I made my decision. It was not easy. Mm. And the person I did choose is Kat. Yeah. That's very lovely of you. No hard feelings. Good choice. <laughs> but, but I have to swap with her? What happened to swap with her? Me. There's no oh, swapping. I'm okay. I'm it okay. wasn't easy. And whatever decision you were going to make was going to be the right one. Yeah. Yeah. Lawson. Yes, big brother. You must be looking forward to this evening. Um, yeah, the party should be good, I think. <laughs> a little nervous for some weird reason. <laughs> well, it's hot in here, so that's why I'm sweating. <laughs> why are you nervous? I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like a 12 year old boy. <laughs> Lounge room. I'm about maybe five ish. Alrighty. Guts to look good, we understand. I'm just ironing, I'm a terrible ironer, I'm slow. Yeah. While Richard prepares for a night of celebration, the girls are discussing him in the parlour. Oh Richard, I'm still trying to figure out. Mm? Richard, yeah, he's got. He's very calculated. Not as in a bad way. I'm just trying to like, you know how you try and typecast people straight away he's in your very mind? Smart. Yeah, I'm trying to figure him out. Yeah, like I'm trying to figure out if he's here to play a game or just take it mm. done. My first impression of him is the same. Like I was just like, he's smart. He'll get along with everyone. Like, he's very adaptable, I Yeah, find. but do you do you automatically think, oh, someone's going to be a game player or someone's gonna be a cruiser? Like I see Tom as a cruiser. Mm. And Richard's just very smart. I see Richard as a game player. Mm. I can't wait to get the repercussions from this day. I'm like actually looking forward to it. Just to see how, because I know Travi will be like, man, it was tough, but no hard feelings. The only one that will take it real personally is Leo. I can't wait to see what he has to say. I love Dave so much, but I watch what I say around him. I don't love him. I actually love him. I think he's hilarious, but... No. But I watch what I say around him. You, because you'll think he'll pass it on, you think because he'll use it against you. But... You really? See, I don't see that from him. I like him, but I see that he's just smart people will use your weaknesses against you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Do you guys get the feeling that Scott, she doesn't care? Mm. Mm. Without Leo that much, she's just like... She'd throw him under the bus if she if it was to win this game, no doubt about it. Looking fresh. Terrible iron job. Mm -hmm. Good, bro. Do you want to actually fix that? Are you going to fix that? Just that one eye, yeah. You're an animal, dude. You're above me. Are you know who top my wife as well? Is this guy hey. serious? He's in love. He must be, eh? Welcome. I'm glad to have you all here because it's uh, brought a new dynamic. You're all bringing something different to the table, and I appreciate that. And all the best with the game. Thanks, Yay. Yay. Cheers. 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 Drink Thank down and live up. Do you think Kat would know by now that she's coming in? Yeah, she'll be getting ready. Um, Speak yeah. of the devil. Because you I'm, and I are oh. a world of fun. Hello. 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 So you knew I was coming? I knew you were coming, yeah. Dave told us. Yeah, are they okay over there? Cheers, everyone. It's going to be bittersweet because I'll get a taste of this and then I'll have to go back over there. But Has it been luxurious or not? Just enjoy it. Yeah, like we're just making the most of it, trying to have as much fun as we can. This will be one interesting party now Pat's back. Will tonight be her final night or one of the other eight nominees we're counting down to find out and after the break, the party hots up in more ways than one. Hey, Tom, how long do you reckon dinner is? Um, <laughs> red seven, red seven, hot round, hot round. What's happening now? This barbecue is cooked. <laughs> I love watching Thomas. <laughs> the barbecue. Do you know how hot this is? 
Original housemate is facing eviction. If viewer polls are to be believed, Lawson and Kat could be in trouble tonight. And if you don't think being split up will hit them hard, check out Lawson discussing how he felt after being separated for just three days. Being away from me, I was like, well, maybe I like you more than I thought. Like, a lot more than I thought. And that distance obviously makes it hard. I find we've only been away for three days, but still silly. And like, like, why, why would a grown man? I'm not, I'm not a grown man. I'm only 23. But get nervous if you can back up only three days or butterflies. Like, that's a silly thing. No, it's not. It's sort of silly. What have I told you about that word? It's so not cute. <laughs> it's silly. It's not. <laughs> it kind of is. But the reason, the reason I didn't pick Travis and the reason I picked yeah. Kat was because we're all up for nominations and I need the public to continue to see their relationship in their role. Sort of thing. Yeah, it's survival of the fittest in here sort of thing. I felt pretty, pretty like ice cold picking it for that reason. Yeah. Like picking the cat for that reason. But that's the sole reason. Oh, Head of house, David is in charge of the party games. Tonight's game is write my Tinder profile. The game puts one housemate in the hot seat while the others choose dating profile taglines for them. Beautiful, intelligent, and successful. It's what I'm looking for in a man. <laughs> Richard has the reputation of looking like a Harry Potter character. Let me show you my broomstick. <laughs> I play the position of a seeker. I catch the snitch. Oh! Open your Gryffindor and I'll slither in. Oh! oh. Asian persuasion. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> what about just simply made in China? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, that's on my Instagram. Is it? Is it? China. Half Chinese aiming to please. Ling Ling, let's make this a fling fling. <laughs> <laughs> seeking, <laughs> seeking a younger man. Oh! <laughs> Such a good start. Who is he? <laughs> In touch with herself. Hard working. Loves a good time. Man eater. No. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. Mrs. Robinson. Mm. Daytime job, putting babies in cradles. Nighttime job, stealing them. <laughs> uh, mine would be won't say no to a good magic trick. I feel like the word cougar needs to be in it. Ooh, really? Nice. Nice. Cougar, cougar with courage. Yes, that's perfect. That's yes, that's uh -huh. cougar with courage. I can see like one of Kat just partying, punching on a dart and just dirty out her mouth and just low life midwife. Oh, nice. Nice. That's so good. I'll go here. Go Tom. Go to town. Master of the law swing. Yes, I am in Dublis. Let me break your law. Age 30 to 32. <laughs> And babies. <laughs> <laughs> These are good guys. Keep them coming. Yeah, this is fun. Uh, <laughs> looking for a wife of the mid range. Oh. Yeah. Oh, very clever. I have a girlfriend, but I don't care. <laughs> When I got up, they definitely, definitely got into the spirit of it. Like, what, what can you say? It's, it's got to be expected, and um, I can't get myself down on it. I've got to, I'm going to have to deal with a whole lot more than that. This is coming from my friends who are just sort of taking the Mickey out of me. 
I'm like struggling at the moment. I haven't found one person that I can be comfortable with yet. The party was meant to bring everyone together, but new housemates Lena and Richard feel they're still being treated like outsiders. You know, I sit there and I'll have private chats with Lawson, but I know he's not saying everything that's on his mind. Okay. And like, I'll, I've, you know, been lucky enough to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one chats with a, like almost yeah. everybody, and it's awesome, but like, it's only to a certain level. And for me, I'm not like Penny, I'm not like Tomo. I can't just go and be like, ooh. That um, Tinder game, for example, like, you guys can have a crack. It's funny, because guys, it's banter. If we sat there and literally, not that I had a crack, or I haven't had anything to say, but like, you know, if I was to have a crack, people would be like, shush, like, you're new, don't, you know, whatever. Yeah, but I think, I think that's how you get their respect, like, at the end of the day, like, I want them to rip into me. I want to be torn to shreds and I want to be able to give it back. And, like, the sooner they start picking on me like they pick on each other, that's it. It's, like, cool. I don't feel like I'm tight with everyone yet. But I'm definitely not. I feel like I'm a floater right now. I will, I will promise you I will be open. Like, whatever you, you are worrying about, I will be open. And I'm not the sort of person that is going to spread that to other people. So you want to know what I'm thinking, I will tell you. It's time to return next door. Hey. See you, Kat. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Uh, thanks, Dave. <laughs> well, strategy Dave's plan to get Kat and Lawson together seemed to work. Lines have now been paused and the identity of tonight's evictee is being verified. So who will be dancing their way out of Big Brother tonight? live eviction night. Now, they say absence makes the heart grow fonder. But for Sky, it's more of a case of absence makes the heart grow bored and start wanting another man. I've always been the relationship girl. And in here, I'm like, I'm single. I'm like, I can like whoever I want. And that's what's happening. It's really embarrassing. And I feel really bad. Like, I feel like a bad person. Say it. Do it. Oh, yeah, I think I know. What? A little bit of a crush. Oh, no. He's kind of cute. That's why. Who? Dang. Ah! <laughs> what? Ew! No, no, no. Forget it. Ryan. Oh. I just think he's really yeah. I just think he's really attractive. Of course. But also, he's, it's because he's very suave and very cool and chilled and laid back. And he's yeah. got the body. He's got a really yeah. good hair. Like. Yeah, and then you're just like, can you not be so that cute? It's probably just because I'm feeling lost because Leo's gone. And a bit lonely, yeah. Yeah. Like, but not, not, not lonely, but a bit of affection. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want Australia to think, oh my gosh, she's the biggest, like, man eater. You can window shop. There's nothing wrong with window shopping. Cool, okay, I just need to feel better about it. Have you talked about, um, with Lawson, what you going to do? We talked about what's going to happen when we get out of here, and, you know, he has mm -hmm. really strongly considered moving to Melbourne, so that's an option for him. Um, but even prior to that, we've made plans to go to Bali as soon as we get out of here. So as soon as we're both out of here, we're booking tickets and going straight away. So he's pretty much said that he's chosen you over her. <laughs> he said that, no, he said that. He should go with that down the hot seat. Um, yeah. Well, I don't like the wording of that, but he <laughs> has always regretted not breaking up with Candace before he came in here because mm. they did break up and then um, she changed her mind in the week before coming in here and he has always regretted not standing up for what he wanted and staying broken up. I've got a lot to 
sort out when I get out of here anyway. Oh, you're a good guy. Yeah. People will make mistakes in life and, you know, you're not going to look back and say this is the proudest moment in your life. No. But, I but mean, this whole experience is. Like, yeah. Oh, no, this, but, like, at the yeah. same time, you don't know what the future beholds with you and Kat, so it actually could be the best decision you've ever made in your life. So are you in love with Dawson? Oh. At the moment. <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm in love with him yet, but I'm heading that way. Wow. Yeah. Do you ever think the fact that he's had a girlfriend on the outside and then developed feelings for you, does that scare you that he's going to go and develop feelings for another girl? <laughs> well, what? Well, I don't... Something that surely you'd think about. It, I think this is a um, situation that doesn't come up repeatedly. I think if he was developing feelings for someone else, well, with me, he's never going to be in a situation where he can't end it with me like he is now. Lena, Richard, Penny and Tom are all bona fide housemates, with the couples of the house now broken up, potentially for good. As Riza said the other day, we haven't just got four new housemates, we've now got six new housemates, because Aisha's like... Different. She's such a cool chick. So much yeah. And we get so much out of her, yeah. but you never get that, because yeah. now... I've seen a completely different side of the sky, and that's why I kept her over here, because I've actually been really enjoying to get to know her. Mm. You know how he has really pretty eyes? Uh, he does, that's true. Sky, I think you and I look like we could be related, to be honest. Look. Our noses are so different. Not really. Aren't they? No. Smile? <laughs> if I smile normally, it's just like this. Oh, okay. So not... I just don't smile with my teeth. Like, I smile with teeth, like, <laughs> just look weird. Why? I love your smile. That's probably my favourite feature. Really? Pretty awkward. Sky has been separated from Leo for five days, and it seems she's ready to move on. I just feel really confused, and it's playing on my mind a lot, and it's making me feel bad, and I don't know. What are you confused about? Just my feelings and... What do you mean, your feelings for Leo? Yes. And there's also another person, but I don't know if I'm just going insane. And who's the other person you have feelings Shush, for? You're talking so loud. Shush. Oh, my God. I'm just going to call it an attraction. My attraction to, to Ryan. I don't know. He's really funny and he's really... He's lovely and he, he comes from a good family and I feel like an idiot because he's got no idea and I'm like a little schoolgirl being like, oh my God, like you're so cute. And, and then on top of that, there's Leo who's really missing me and I'm also missing him but finding myself becoming attracted to Ryan. Do you enjoy doing your nails? Well, I'm like, because you know how I bite my nails? I'm just getting them good now, look. Is that good? Make them more like straight across. Oh, oh really? So brown. Oh my God, it's so hot. I told you it would make your eyes look amazing. In the last few days since we've been split as a house, she's kind of found this attraction for Ryan. She's going to kill me for saying it. <laughs> Even though you've already heard. Like, she just gets so cute around him now and I just see her laughing at everything he says. And it's, like, not just a normal laugh, it's, like, a full-face laugh. And it's, it's really cute to see, but I think the fact that she has attraction for Ryan says that maybe what she has with Leo is not, not much. I don't think Leo will like the Ryan crush one little bit. By now we know all the housemates so well, but who does Australia really love? We will find out who the most popular are when we save them right after the break.
Go to nonejumping.com.au slash big brother and take the quiz to find out which housemate are you most like for the opportunity to win a trip to the Big Brother finale for you and five mates. There's also 20 secondary prizes of a year's supply of KFC burgers to be won. Yeah. This is Big Brother's live eviction, and in just a few moments, we will save not one, not two, not three, but four nominees from eviction. We'll give them the good news soon, but first, let's go back to the house where the housemates in the sanctuary are getting another chance at freedom. Travis, Leo, Kat and Priya have been in the sanctuary separated from the group for five days and they're about to get only their second chance at a visit. Hi everyone. If you would uh, want to take Leo and Travis because I've got some special someone to see out there, I would not mind that at all. As much as I would like to be there, I think at this moment in time it would mean a lot more to them. This time two of them will be chosen and it's the housemates who all have a vote. Oh, she's broken. Okay. She's gonna cry. Thank you, babe. Hey, everybody. Um, I'd really like to come over there and see everyone. Uh, it's definitely been hard on this side. We're all feeling a little bit stir crazy. No hard feelings, whatever two you pick. Obviously, I want to come in more than anyone sitting on this couch. <laughs> We've all had the realization recently that we're probably going to be here until after eviction, so there's a good chance that we won't be able to see some of you again. So I thank you, everyone. And goodbye, just in case. They're all shattered. Aww. Okay, so one at a time. Um, I feel like more people are going to say Leo. So I'm going to say Priya, just because I think that was amazing that she would sacrifice herself and put two other people before her. Um, I'm going to obviously say Trav um, for obvious reasons. Travi, just because... Oh, I think Travi probably deserves it the most. I have to say Priya because I feel like she just looks so broken. Yep. She looks like she needs a bit of time out of there. Okay. Uh, big brother, the people have spoken. It will be Priya and Travis. So be it. Thank you very much. Well, you don't let him find out who you voted for. Yeah. Oh. A sky vote for Leo could have meant a visit for him, but it's not to be. Housemates next door. Yep. The new island. The main housemates have decided which two of you will join them this afternoon. Yep. They have chosen. Travis. Yep. Yay. <laughs> and Priya. Whoa! Nice work, Priya. Good job, Priya. Congrats. Big brother, Ken? Congrats. Do you want me to ask you to go? That's right. Go around and have a good time. Do you want me to say something? No. Nah, man, I'd be just leave it. Leo to go instead of me, and I'm being honest. I'm not just saying it to sound. No, no, no just awesome. leave it. Don't just go, Pri. They picked you. Just go. It must have been boy or girl. I don't want to go now. So the truth. It probably just go. was one boy, one girl. It's it fine. probably had to be. Do you want to pass on a message? Just go. Unless well. she knows how I feel. I'm sorry. Either. You can't put me to blame for this. Nah, nah, I'll, I'll have to choose someone. Yeah, I know. Nah, you know? Um, yeah. Th thanks for picking us, but anyway, yeah, like, no worries. You're pretty what, um, I t Leo's in there pretty, like, filthy. Oh. Was it one boy, one girl? <laughs> it was very, no, it was, it was very close. Oh, like, yeah. was, everyone chose you. Yeah. yeah. Everyone was at Leo and Priya. I'm not. Was it a boy or girl you had to Is pick? It not? No.
if we even get one more chance to have a visitor or for someone to go over, you're a shoe in now. <laughs> that is the bright side. If this guy had picked Leo, it would have gone to a tie and Dave would have chosen it. Who do you think he would have chosen? Oh well, I probably wouldn't tell him, no. tell him no. I wouldn't tell him. It's up to you. Yeah, I won't. Oh, 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 so, Sky, let's get this straight. Leo's been away for a few days, out of sight, out of mind. Was there any part of you that wanted him to come over into the house so you could see him today? Of course. Yes, of course. I just want to lift him up. Like, I can see he's down. And I want to, you know, give him a hug and tell him it's going to be okay and just say, don't forget where we are. It was lovely to see him in his play video. He looks good with a shaved face. Um, it was also sad and it made me feel really bad and upset and really confused. I'm young, you know, and I've always been in relationships and now I'm kind of just like feeling free and I'm like, I can be attracted to more than one person because I, like, it's not that I'm making love with all three or, you know, cheating on anyone, but I kind of feel like I am cheating on Leo and it's kind of weird, but all there is that's happening is an attraction. For every cloud has a silver lining, Big Brother has let the four from next door off the hook and they're back in the house for tonight's eviction. But could one of them be getting the chop tonight? Let's cross live and see who's safe. Last week in the sanctuary, how hard was that for you? Uh, it was really hard. It was one of the hardest things I've had to do since I've been in the house. Um, it was definitely a challenge not being able to go to the gym and being stuck in that little room, but it really did give me a chance to get closer to the guys that I was in there with, so mm -hmm. that was really a benefit from being in there, but I'm not going to lie, it was tough. It was tough. Well, we're happy to see Leo, aren't we? <laughs> that makes you smile. Yeah. Sonia, how you doing? <laughs> Ryan? Yes? You're to blame. No, big, big brother's to blame. No. I just activated it. Ryan, how guilty will you feel if one of the housemates you sent to the sanctuary gets evicted tonight? Yeah, I'll, look, I'll feel pretty bad, but at the end of the day, we all know that it's a game, so what do you do? <laughs> you play it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, folks, here's how we're going to do it tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm about to save the four most popular housemates mm. from this week's voting. Mm. Then mm. I will evict one of you, leaving the remaining four nominees to sweat it out until tomorrow. Right. <laughs> how does that sound? Terrible. 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 Let's get started. One nominee who is somewhere in the top four and received enough votes to save them from tonight's eviction is... who is somewhere in the top four and has received enough votes to save them is... David! Yeah. The third nominee who is somewhere in the top four and is safe is Ryan! 
Kevin. Also somewhere in the top four and safe from eviction is... I'll be back shortly. So that means either Aisha, Kat, Lawson, Leo, or Travis is going home tonight. Who will it be? The eviction is right after the break. This Cuvier moment is brought to you by Andy Purr. She fell asleep drinking her coffee. <laughs> well, it wasn't coffee. You know when Priya talks, you just want to hear that music you get at the basketball, you know, that defence music? What happened in the pool today was totally not on because I felt ganged up on. I apologise because the last thing I want to do is for you to feel ganged up upon. And I'll, I'll apologise as well because Pri, I, it was not my intention to do that at all. Thanks for the apology. Sorry. No, I appreciate it. Thank you for your opinion. Yeah. Sorry. No. Sorry. Andy Purr doesn't just mask, it truly eliminates odors so the housemates can breathe happy. This is Big Brother Live, and it's time to evict one of the housemates. So let's cross live and get it done. <laughs> Hi, housemates. Now, we know the five remaining nominees are the bottom five, but what we don't know is which one is at the very bottom and that's what counts tonight. So for one of you, these are your final seconds in the Big Brother house. Australia has voted, and one nominee received less votes to save than all the others, which means it's time to go. It's time to go. Lawson! Guys, it's been sweet. I'm going to have a bath. Thank you. Thanks for being with me. Thank you. No worries. Oi, cheesy. Stand by. Good luck. Lawson, brother. Guys, good luck, mate. It's been cool. I'll see you on the outside. Good luck, mate. Lovely to meet you both. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Lovely, we made up. I did think you were funny. I did think you were funny. Thank you. It's good to see you again. <laughs> it's alright. Let's do this. Let's go. At least you didn't have to spend the last week in the sanks. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, you see us outside. Sure, man. Thank you. 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 Thank And on his way to tell us everything that's next. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. I did. 
That's not gonna hit their weight. Sorry for your leg. One minute the person is here. Be out there tomorrow anyway. What? Keep positive. This is my set. Well, let's gather around in a circle. Kitchen, you know, love this Tom. Yeah. 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 At least we can say something. This is Big Brother Live, and Australia has just evicted the year's most talked about housemate. Please welcome Lawson. Just, yeah, it's pretty crazy at the moment. I think still a whirlwind. Um, I sort of figured I was going to be going, so I was prepared, I think. You thought you were going? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Have you prepared yourself for the sort of questions that you know you're going to be asked? <laughs> I have prepared myself. Yeah, I know I'm going to get the questions. I'm going to cop it. Yeah. Um, there will be some tough questions. There will be. Because, you know, part of being on Big Brother is putting yourself out there for public scrutiny. There are certain things that the public want to know, so I will be putting those questions to you tonight, all right? Sure. Are you I'm, cool with that? I'm ready. Let's right. do it. Let's start with the fun stuff, though. Let's. You're a magician I am, in the outside yeah. world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't change when you entered Big Brother, so let's have a look. Would you like to see a magic trick? If his magic is rubbish, I'm not going to hold back at all. He is amazing. His magic tricks are just insane. Imagine that water is evaporating, okay? Imagine that water is going down, okay? I don't even know how he does it. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Magic man's got it. He's amazing. <laughs> one, two, three. What do you reckon? Was that a good one? <laughs> How's it going? Oh. Magic. Did the magic work for you in the house? Um, Looked like it did. Yeah, it seems to have. Yeah, I didn't. I can't. I can't think of any tricks going wrong, I, I don't think. I yeah. think they all went off quite smoothly. And they're so. very entertaining for the housemates. They are very entertaining, yes. Do you feel like it's something you could make a career out of? I don't know. It's a pretty stressful gig, I think. Really? I just, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's always, you're just nervous all the time. I think that's just something I like to do for people because it brings out the child in, in people. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right. <laughs> Let's get to it, Lawson. The defining story of your time in the house was your relationship with Kat, but it wasn't your average love story. It was not, no. So let's have a look. Let's. I genuinely have feelings for you, real feelings for you. I feel exactly the same way. I didn't think that we would get along because I don't, like, there's such an age gap there, you know? I'm choosing to take Lawson. Yeah! <laughs> uh, I feel like I've just self-destructed my life, big brother. Essentially, yes. Lawson's dug his own grave in my box with me. There is a girl on the outside who is hurting, her heart is broken, and I would also say that's the biggest issue in the house at the moment. So let's 
Let's just break it down, okay? So, Cat expressed feelings for you and initially you didn't want to take it further yeah. but then that all changed so why um i didn't expect to have any feelings for cat and they sort of just progressed and i started to <laughs> i um i started to just feel things for Kat and I knew that, that was wrong and uh, like I've been struggling since about being a bad person or whether or not I, kn I know that what I have done is bad but I, I couldn't really help it I, I, I got stuck in a rut I was feeling bad and then I would go to Kat because she would make me feel better and she was also the person that I was fighting like to like feel those things about so when, when you started your relationship with Kat did you think that it might mean losing your relationship on the outside? Um, yeah, well, 100%. I think that that relationship will um, probably be over. I have to give her the chance to tell me how she feels and let her finish it, um, which is tough. Um, you know, you don't ever want to hurt someone, especially someone who you care about, so I just never intended that to happen. We, we could see the struggle that you were going through and going and talking to Big Brother and then, you know, being really upset and then going back to Cat. When did it become OK with you, though, to start being intimate with another girl? Yeah. When um, did that flick kind of... the switch flick in you? It took me maybe... I'd been up to Big Brother... Well, you got to him a lot, but in, in the two weeks that I'd been up to Big Brother, I'd realised that I hadn't been up and not spoken about it and hadn't been up and not cried about it and, and dealt with it. And um, I think when we decided to come out and tell the housemates and um, stop from being such a secret, uh, and they got around and supported me and us, um, yeah, just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, yeah, I don't know. I, Lawson, you know it's how you're saying that the housemates supported you. <laughs> Did it ever cross your mind that that was a strategic move on their part? No, I didn't really. I didn't really care. They were. They had my back, and, and that's all that mattered. I didn't ever think that it was a strategy. And if it was, it was a strategy for me because it made me find myself again and sort of found my identity and, and came to terms with like it was either all or nothing, and I went all. Do, do you get a sense? in the house, what the outside world might be saying or, or thinking about you? Um, not so much in the house. Thank you. Um, not so much in the house, but I'm not a stupid person and I know that what I have done is wrong and I know that on the outside, people are going to have negative opinions, um, but I'm just going to have to stand up and, and cop those things on the chin and take responsibility. <laughs> In hindsight then, Lawson, is there anything you would change? I don't think so. I, I, I think that you can't live with regrets and the only thing maybe is perhaps the position I was in going into the house because the only thing I have to now deal with and live with is that I've broken someone else's heart um, somewhere. So, probably that. And have you and Kat discussed future plans? Um... <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> a couple of things, I think. Um, like she, a, she mentioned a trip to Bali. Yeah, I think, I think that was on the cards because this whole experience is so crazy that that's a sort of a, a getaway that takes us away from everything that we're going to have to deal with. Um, but apart from that, we're just going to have to have conversations when we get out and I think, yeah, maybe I will think about making... I was already thinking about making the move somewhere, so... We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. We've still got a lot more to talk to Lawson about after the break. All his highlights, plus more of the questions that you have been dying for him to answer. I genuinely have feelings for you. Like, real feelings for you. I've let everybody down the butt. Mum um, once said to me that I self-destruct my relationships. I feel like I've just self-destructed my life, big brother. And I've embarrassed 
my girlfriend. Um, and her family. Welcome back to Big Brother's Live Eviction, where Lawson has just become evictee number 10. Obviously, that's very emotional for you <laughs> to, to look back at. What are you feeling? Um, just, yeah, I think guilt, I think. So, just really upset for that other person, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it wouldn't be easy to watch someone that you love uh, say that they have feelings for somebody else, so... So, so do you still feel that way, Lawson? Have your feelings changed at all? Or uh, where's your of, head at now? Yeah, of course. I've, I've, I've struggled since that to now in, um, in my feelings of feeling guilty and looking guilty and, and all of that. Um, but obviously Kat has helped me a lot through that and so have all my housemates. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll ever not feel like that. So what's your plan with your girlfriend? Are you going to phone her straight after the show? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, as I was saying, she deserves the chance to tell me how she feels and, um, and have the opportunity to um, end things. Um, and, of, of course, for me to apologise. And I, I, There's nothing I can, I can do about it. I um, fell for someone in the house and... I just followed my heart, and, and I, I don't know. I, it's yeah, it's it's a tough, it's a tough situation. I've stuck. Tough, it is tough. Do you expect Cat to be coming out tomorrow night, or do you think she'll be in there for a while longer? I hope not. I hope she stays in for as long as possible. She's doing great. I think um, she's the dark horse. I reckon, and and she's made some realizations in the house about her life and and moving forward. And I'm excited for her uh, to to m make her life better and, and move on. Now, you, you are probably going to read some pretty confronting tweets and yep. comments on social media from people that you don't know. Some keyboard warriors. How will you deal with that? Um, I've got a pretty tough skin, mm -hmm. I think. The only things that are going to hurt me are the, coming from the people that I know and care about. Um, people who don't know me, know, don't know my situation, they can say what they like, but it's not going to affect me because... They don't know and they haven't been in the house. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to cop it on the chin. I find block and report is fairly <laughs> effective. <laughs> I, forget, I can't even remember how to hold my phone, let alone use Facebook. So, All right. Well, we, we might as well get you started now with some <laughs> of those uh, tough comments. Each yep. week, members of the Give public are given a chance to ask you anything they want. They submit their questions through Nine Jump In. And tonight, the KFC Home Viewer question is from Braith, and he would like to know, what do you think Candace will say to you? Um... Good question, Braith. That is the million dollar question. I, I really don't know. I think she is going to be disappointed, obviously, and, 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 and tell me how could I and, and, and all those terrible things that she deserves to think about me. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. She's, there's, I don't have a bad word to say about her. Um, she's a lovely person and definitely didn't deserve this, so... I think whatever she says is valid. All right. Well, that, that is good to hear, isn't it? Yep. Wilson, you know, your time in the Big Brother house was without doubt one of the most intense. I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> there, were, there were some lows, There'd but there were an awful lot of highs too. So yep. let's have a look. Here's a look at your time in the house, thanks to KFC. Hi! When you actually are walking through the doors, I was shocked at first. Cheers! Cheers. You know, you see it on the television, then it just doesn't do it any justice. I was just stoked to be here. There's not a day that has gone by that I haven't had a good belly laugh. <laughs> There's been some weird moments. <laughs> I think people are thinking that I might be a bit of a threat to them. Name one person I was nasty when I was drunk. I'm not a nasty. Um, your girlfriend, maybe? I've had a lot of ups. 
and a few downs. I'm a bad person, big brother. Not that I regret it or anything, but it's a bad decision. Like, I made a bad decision. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to make my mum proud. I think you should take this 20000 I'll take a five. <gasps> okay. Oh, God. This $5,000 goes to Jake. Yeah. Magic always helps me. Oh, it seems to get me by. Yeah. Hey Chloe. Hey Chloe. Hello. <laughs> like my mum says, every day is precious and I really believe that. Yeah. Nothing will compare to this experience. <laughs> Australia and KFC agree. Your experience has been so good. Oh yeah. And Lawson, I've got a surprise for you. As a reward for being such a legend in the house, appliancesonline.com.au are giving you a $5,000 voucher. Oh, no yeah. oh. And you also have the $5,000 that you won in the Perfect Pairs I task. I did. I bought these shoes with another $5,000 as well. Wow. <laughs> but are you wishing that you hadn't given Aisha the $20,000 now? No Sorry, way. She can't hear us. No way. Um... Like I've said the whole way through, uh, I've been very blessed uh, with my family and they've looked after me when I've needed help. Um, and I, I'm still living at home with my dad at the moment and Aisha's working two jobs, like, all day and then all night and um, struggling to get by. So she could do great things with that $20,000. Really generous, really generous for it. You know, what we loved was that you threw yourself into the experience of Big Brother, for better or for I worse. Sure did. That is what it's all about. Come up here, Lawson. Take a bow. Let's hear it for Lawson. Four nominees remain, and you have less than 24 hours to save them. Voting lines have reopened. Here are the details. To save Aisha, call 1902 559501 or SMS Aisha to 199 5599 or vote on Facebook. To save Cat, call 1902 559502 or SMS Cat to 199 5599 or vote on Facebook. To save Leo, call 1902 559517 or SMS Leo to 199 5599 or vote on Facebook. To save Travis, call 1902 559516 or SMS Travis to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. Tomorrow night, the reality of the closing weeks hits hard when the double eviction takes two more housemates out of contention. A double eviction. Yeah, big news. We would love you to join us for the drama. Go to dreamworld.com.au for tickets to our live shows. I'm Sonia Kruger. Bring on the double eviction. This is the Law Swing. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.